What is up, guys? Ultra Ball is back to narrate another Snake Draft game. Uh, this time we got Sabella vs. Brofist, so uh, unfortunately we don't have a nice uh, team preview screen for this. Uh, blame Doc for that. <laughs> He's the one that sent me the file. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll go quickly over the teams here before we start the replay from turn one. Uh, I'm not going to talk too long, though, because I know this is probably kind of boring to look at, so we'll just go quick. Uh, Sabella brings Sorry Trick Room, so standard Trick Room team, uh, and looking at Brofus team, it looks like Sabella has an absolutely terrible matchup because Brofus has the two Mons that are the biggest threats to Trick Room, which is Mega Venusaur and what I assume is an Ash Greninja, especially seeing he let off with it, which, like, of course, he's probably expecting, like, the Uxie lead. Uh, so, yeah, just from team preview, I think Sabella's in a pretty bad spot. Uh, the one way I could see him possibly breaking through Brofus team is if this Magearna was, like, a Venusaur lure. Like, so, like, if it was, like, Corkscrew Crash, but that's not standard. Normally, you see the more common one is Electric Z. Uh, so, yeah, if it's not uh, Steel Z and it can't break through Venusaur, I think it's going to be a very hard game for Sabella to win. Especially because, like, he has nothing to do with Ashgrad on top of Venusaur being a huge threat. So, with that, we'll go right into the game. You see the leads. Uh, Sabella makes a nice lead, leading with Magirna, expecting the Ashgrad. And that's going to give him a free Trick Room. Of course, Ashgrad is, like I said, a really good lead against Uxie. So, uh, good good call there by Sabella leading the Magirna and getting off a Trick Room turn one. So... Here we're going to see the Trick Room as we see the switch into Brofist. Uh, obviously, Sabella is not staying in here. He goes to Uxie, I assume, just to get up rocks. And uh, Brofist Sludge Bomb's just fishing for poison on something, knowing Gear is not staying in. So that's a fine play. Uh, we get up the rocks here, as I'm sure Clefable will also get up the rocks. Um, Mawile, I don't. There's only one room of Trick Room left, or one turn of Trick Room left, which kind of sucks. So we'll see what Mawile does. Uh, it does SD, so I'm assuming like if it's SD, the the version of this team with SD is SD knockoff. Uh, so it's not going to be able to kill the Steela, unless it's T-Punched. Yeah, but it is knocked, so it doesn't kill the Steela, and he takes a big hit on Mawile. Uh, weakening the Steela is nice, but now that he goes into Uxie, right? So, oh, that Leech Seed sucks. Like, this Uxie can't touch... Oh, that's so lame. He misses another one. <laughs> but, like, Steela being healthy, or at least getting some health back is nice, because Protect could always burn room turns of Trick Room. So the fact that he couldn't get off either Leech Seed there sucks but at the same time like now he could go for leech seed again if he wants because Uxie can't doesn't have an attacking move i'm assuming it's magic coat and if it is magic coat i'd probably go for it now like trying to bounce back the leech seed but at the same time brofist might you know be predicting that to come out so he might go for something else i don't know we'll see um i think sabella his play here should either be if you think that the steel is going to protect to burn a tr turn of trick room you could go hard into something like marrow um, otherwise, if you think he's going to leech, I'd just magic coat to kill the Steela with, the, um, because you seed the Steela then. So he does protect any mementos, which I don't think was necessarily the right play. Like I said, if you, because like if you thought he would, uh, leech seed there, I would have just clicked magic coat. Um, and if you thought that he would protect, I would have gone hard into something like, like Marowak. And Marowak was like fine either way, because even if he did leech, like you're not in the worst spot. But now the Steela is definitely going to leech seed. He has no reason not to, because like, um, I, unless the Uxie, like, clicks Memento here, uh, this Steela is going to get back some health, which will allow it to stall out turns of Trick Room later with Protect, which is going to be nice for, uh, Brofist. Yeah, so he does go Leech, he goes hard Marowak. The, the problem with this now, though, for Sabella, right, is, uh, this, because we're going to Protect here with Steela, of course, uh, I would assume. Um, yeah, and now the Marowak is getting weakened, and the Mawile is also weakened. And between Mawile and Marowak, those look like the two Mons that really put in the most work against Brofist. And they're both already really, really weakened. And uh, the Cresselia is only going to be able to bring one of them back with Lunar Dance. So that means... Uh, you know, so like keeping... Like trying to keep one of them healthy would have been nice. Because then... Uh, like from now... Pretty much now you only have like one more threat to worry about if you're Brofist. And the, the threat is just... Like whatever one that... Uh, Cresselia decides to bring back with Lunar Dance. Uh, but besides that, like you've already neutered the two biggest problems to your team, which is really good for Brofist, on top of having a good matchup to begin with. So this is looking really hard for Sabella, I think. Um, if I was uh, Sabella now, though, I'd just definitely just, just click Shadow Bone. And if I'm Brofist, I definitely wouldn't go into Greninja, even though it lives a hit, because like Greninja kills every single Mon, so there's no point of going hard into it. I think the one thing that like would live a hit, like live Shadow Bone, comfortably would be like if you go into Cle yeah Clefable that's what I was going to say because now now Trick Room ends like I don't think the crit matters too much because uh, I don't think the Marowak going to want to stay in because I think this is probably the Mon that will get Lunar Dance so you don't want to stay in and have it get knocked off because that would be a fat L for you um, so I think Sabella Sabella could go into any one of his Trick Room setters because they, they all three of them get up Trick Room reliably on Clefable um, 
And like you don't have to worry about knockoff on the Uxie or the Crest because they they should both be mental herb and there's no, no nothing has taunt on Brofist team so that shouldn't matter. So uh, I definitely think that you go into one of the trick room setters here and if I'm Brofist I probably probably soft boil because I think soft boil is free because even if you soft boil and Marowak stays into attack you then it's probably going to be in range of knockoff after that. So I don't think there's anything like um, wrong with soft boiling if you're Brofist on this turn. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, looks like Sabella is thinking about his play, but like I said, yeah, yeah, for, exactly. So his best play was just to go and get Trick Room back up. Uh, Abrofus does uh, soft boiled up, and now we're gonna see another uh, Trick Room. If I was Brofus, I'd probably go into Steela because like Uxie can't touch you, so you could go into Sell Steela, uh, throw off seeds, and the Uxie will either be forced to like uh, Memento, and then he, he loses one of his Trick Room setters, or it's gonna force one of the other Mons to take Leech Seed. Um, yeah, I guess the Ux, but like at the same time, you don't want if Uxie's uh, magic code, you don't want the magic code on the seeds. But at the same time, that is stalling out Trick Room turn. So like I think Steela here is fine, just in general. Um, he goes Ninja. I think that's also fine because he Trick Rooms right. Yeah, because now like he could pump for free pretty much. So I think like Sabella is gonna be forced to Memento because he doesn't want to give this thing Ash. Uh, and if Brofus is Fire, he goes for yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, there's a fire play going for Spike there. A really, really nice play on Brofist's part. Um, yeah, I mean, Brofist is top of the game right now. He's one of the best best players that we have for some OU. Uh, that was a really nice play going for Spike, anticipating the memento. So these spikes are going to really pressure Brofist, right? So, like, uh, this Mawile, I think it could switch in one more time to these hazards. I think Marowak could only switch in one time to hazards, and then you'll have, like I said, one of them, which will probably be brought back by Crest at some point. But uh, here, I think the Mawile has to SD on the switch. Yeah, that's because the, the Greninja was locked into spikes, right? So now, um, I think you click knockoff, but the, the problem is you're not even doing that much to Venusaur. Uh, at the same time, like I could see Brofus not wanting to let this get weakened because this is still like the the gear check and I guess the crowd on check. So. He doesn't need to stay in, but he does. Does he synth? Yeah, he does synth. Okay, so now that there's only one turn of Trick Room, I'd assume that he doesn't want to let this get weakened any farther, and he could just sack something. Like, something that doesn't matter. Like, I don't think Reunion matters too much in this game, and I think Steel is low, so it doesn't matter too much. So I think you could probably sack one of those two Mons. Uh, probably Reunion. But, like, Reunion, like, you don't need to sack Reunion, because it's still at full and could live a hit from, I guess, gear. Um, but you're not really doing anything back to gear anyway. Uh, so, but like, yeah, yeah, I think Reuni and Steel are the two most expendable members at this time. So he's probably going to go into one of those on the sack. He could like stay in and and then synth again, but I don't think it's worth letting the Venusaur get weakened like that for no reason. So this is still like Venusaur still beats almost the entire team. So he does sack the Steela. I think I think that uh, Brofist has two plays here now, right? So it's uh, to go into uh, Gren and click Water Shuriken, or it's go into Garchomp if Garchomp lives a hit, which I'm not. I'm pretty sure it lives plus two Sucker from full, but I'm not positive. Um, I think that Greninja though, like click Water Shuriken's fine, but at the same time that invites in like Cresselia to get back up Trick Room, which is not what you want. Um, so yeah, because like if he goes, if he does go into Gren, he's almost almost for sure clicking uh, Water Shuriken. Uh, but yeah, I think the play would be go Chomp if you could survive the plus two sucker. And I'm assuming, be, but based on the team that Brofist has, right, uh, it has to be Scarf Chomp because we already know that Greninja is not Scarf; it's Specs. And uh, the rest of his team is really slow and fat, so it, it really appreciates the revenge killing that like Scarf Chomp would bring. So and the team's really weak to stuff like Volcarona, so I think it has to be Scarf. I think you could go and okay yeah so he does go out to Garchomp right so we should just see an earthquake here from Brofist and I think like so Sabella has two plays it's to click Sucker Punch and like weaken the shit out of this Garchomp or it's to go to Cresselia to get back up Trick Room the problem is if you do that Mawile is so Mawile is already way too low so I think that you're better off just trading the Mawile for a big hit on Garchomp and then you could go into Cresselia after and get up to Trick Room uh, not for sure that that's the play he's going to make, but I definitely, um, I think that's probably his best course of action. Uh, yeah, he does. That does a lot. That does more than I thought. That did a shit ton of damage. But the Garchomp does live. I'm assuming that it lived 100%. Otherwise, Brofist wouldn't have gone out to this. Uh, and it kills the, kills the Mawile. So now, but like I said, this is definitely Scarf Chomp. So he gets a free Caselli and free Trick Room. If I was Brofist, I wouldn't stay in. There's no reason to, right? Because you know Trick Room's coming. And... You could keep this Garchomp as a sack to rocks because being able to burn a turn of Trick Room by sacking Chomp 
uh, is going to help a lot dealing with like Marowak if that's what ends up being Lunar Dance to back. So I think Brofa's best play here would be to save this. It really doesn't matter what he goes into because Cresselia can't touch any of the other Mons that are left. So I, you could really go into anything here. Just I would definitely save the Chomp. And if you're Sabello, you're obviously clicking Trick Room. There's really not much to think about for him. Uh, yeah, Brof is thinking here, but like I said, I, there's no reason to sack this. This is, this is better kept as a sack for something else. As you just go Clef on the Trick Room. Uh, so if I was Sabella, if I was Sabella, I would probably go hard into Magirna. Um, the reason being is because if you Lunar Dance now, you'd have to Lunar Dance into the Marowak, right? And, Mar and then Clef if Clefable's knockoff, it could just knock off the Marowak, and then it's not a threat at all. I think your best bet is to save Clefable, and then try and Lunar Dance up the, the Marowak on something that's not Clef. Maybe it'd be like Venu. But, um, yeah, I don't... I think hard hard uh, gear would be the best play here. But either way, it's not looking great for Sabella because uh, Brofus has good answers to pretty much everything left. Okay, he does Lunar Dance right now. Like I said, I don't, I wouldn't probably have made this play. I would have saved because um, Crest still got Trick Room up on every single Mon reliably. So except for Gren, except for Gren, it got up Trick Room reliably on the other members. So I don't think I would have sacked the. I don't think I would have sacked. Um, or I, w I don't think I would have Lunar Dance just yet. I would have I would have kept the, the, the Cresselia to get up Trick Room again later on in the game. But he does go into Marowak. But that's the thing. Like, this lives a hit. And if it's Knock, yeah, yeah. See, so now now the game should be over, right? Because, like, Marowak can't touch any of the Mons anymore. Um, now, Marowak's going to do no damage. It actually... Uh, a Flare Blitz is still a roll to kill. He could sack... Yeah, he sacks Chomp. So, SD would be fire play here. If he has... Nope. Yeah, he didn't SD. All right, so that game should be over. If he SD'd, that would at least give him pressure to get one more kill here with the Marowak. Because um, I'm not positive, but I would assume that Flare Blitz would kill this Venusaur, even though the Thick Club's knocked. And I know that I know that Venusaur is Thick Fat, right? But, like, it's still a Marowak. So at plus two, that's still, like... Um, I mean, that's, like... That would be pretty much equivalent to Marowak having the Thick Club. And I'm pretty sure that Flare Blitz would do 60. So, yeah, I think that Sabella's only chance of winning this game would have been to SD'ing on the Garchomp sack. Uh, now it's definitely over because now we could just click Earthquake and kill Marowak. And Marowak's dead to hazards because it, yeah, it takes 25 from Rocks, 12 from Spike. So it's in range of hazards. So like there's nothing that Sabella could do here. It's just dead. Uh, that's And now what? You go into gear and do, and do what? <laughs> and just die to three Earthquakes, I'd assume. So I think the game's over. Like, and I don't think that this uh, Magirna's... Like, like I was saying, he, I think Sabella had a shot in this game if it was Steel Z. But the fact that he never went out to this... Uh, Makes me assume, or uh, I assume by the fact that he never went out to this, that it's hard walled by Venusaur. So, yeah, he does go into gear. Like, he's definitely going to get up Trick Room, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think uh, Brofus definitely just clicks Earthquake here. Uh, yeah, I just click Earthquake here. I just click Earthquake three times, and then you win with Venusaur. You just Giga Drain the Crawdont. So, he does Earthquake here on the gear. Uh, as we see a Trick Room. Um, Brofus doesn't have to risk, like, I, you don't want to go to another Mon to give this thing a boost, I understand, but, like, you, also, like, if Venusaur gets weakened, it'd kind of be shitty for Crawdon, but you could, you definitely be able to stall out Trick Room turns and then just Giga Drain it. Alright, so we see a Z-move, what Z-move is it? Alright, that's gonna do no, that was a crit, that did nothing. Crit did 50. Um, yeah, and Brofus does uh, scout for the Zemu by um, by synthing, so that was a good plan on his part. Yeah, now the game's definitely over. Like I said, if it was um, if this was Flash Flash Cannon Z, I think there was like I mean somewhat of a chance, but the fact that it was um, Fairy Z, this this game was actually kind of almost over from preview. Um, and yeah, now he just Trick Room's over with. He just goes into Crawdon and dies to Giga. Um, if if Brofus has it, I, he also doesn't necessarily have to have Giga. Um, because it could be like Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, HP Fire. Yeah, he doesn't have Giga. That still did a bunch of damage, though. And Crawdot's just going to die to the next Life Orb hit. So that's, that knockoff did a shit... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Venusaur was defense dropped. I was like, why did it do 60? <laughs> um, but yeah, he just died. Crawdot just w kills the Venu with uh, Aqua Jump and dies to Life Orb. So that'll be game over. Um, Brofist with the win. Like I said, I think he definitely... Uh, he played it well, but he also had a huge advantage from preview, so... Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, though, make sure you give uh, my man Doc a bunch of thumbs up. Um, I have a couple more videos I'll be doing, so you'll be you'll be seeing me again. Uh, and hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the content. So until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.